What's going on guys and welcome back to the Spartan Mining YouTube channel. Today is a it's an awesome day. We've got great news from the Electronium team. I was talking to Brandon on the phone earlier and you know I was going through YouTube and one of the guys that I'm subscribed to is Sean Davis with Crypto for the People. I'm going to put a link down below. He is a humongous believer of Electronium. And he had just released a video that popped up and it notified me, hey, you got a new video from Sean Davis. So I clicked on it. Didn't even realize that Richard Ellis has sent out an email, which I have pulled up right here. So shout out to him for getting the video posted up. So, you know, this is this is how I found out about it. Watched his video for a few seconds. I mean, that guy's go subscribe to him. He's awesome, dude. You probably already are subscribed to him. Anyways, let's get into this email, okay? So this email is talking about their new patent, the new updates, and everything that's going on with the 51% attack. So we'll just get right into it. Richard Ells has been around uh, the other countries in Asia, the Middle East. He's meeting with like big people about uh, getting murders and deals and stuff with Electronium. So the main thing, right, this is the big update part. So the patent pending is secured. We're, they've worked on it since last year. It protects our cryptocurrency hybrid system that will allow us to provide instant cryptocurrency payments as well as a cryptocurrency subscription payment. It's a game changer for the entire cryptocurrency industry when it comes to everyday use. So let me tell you what that's like. It's like if you have a credit card, right? And you go to the store and you buy something and you swipe it and it wants to know if you're secured or not secured and if it's approved or not approved. So whether or not you have the funds in your account or not. So what it does, it sends a, it sends a message to your bank or whoever it is that you have for your debit or credit card. And it says, hey, is this funds available? Are we gonna be able to get this? And they're gonna send a message back saying, yeah, it's available. We'll send it to you in a few days. It's not available or not. And then it'll decline it. So this is basically encapsulating the the way you, you can use cryptocurrency in everyday life where you can like go and you can have subscriptions with cryptocurrency you can buy stuff instantly with cryptocurrency and then not just is going to be for electronium it encapsulate all of cryptocurrency some of the big names is like bitcoin ethereum like the big guys and it's going to be able to use everything like it's going to they're going to be able to use all of the cryptocurrency up under the Electronium brand. Why is this a big deal? Well, they've patented it. They patented the technology behind it that's going to be able to encapsulate the transactions that happen, protects it, since the message says it's secure or not, which is what vendors want, right? That's Vendors are waiting on a way to utilize cryptocurrency, and this is going to be the way that's going to utilize it. Electronium was the first ones to get the patent out for it, is secured which means it's going to be huge huge things that are going to be happening for cryptocurrency not only electronium but for the use of cryptocurrency as a whole so that's a big that's a big thing that's happening their first goal is getting electronium out first and then they're going to be working on other cryptocurrencies if they want to be added to it or being encapsulated in it but they have the patent out nobody can steal their idea for, from it so that's great so far right the next thing the market sentiment <clears throat> He's going to cover up uh, like the false negativity that's been going around, right? So a lot of the forums and a lot of different people are posting a lot of negative news about Electronium, how it's fake, how they don't support it anymore, what's going on with the team, why aren't they doing things anymore? Well, going down, they got two new blockchain developers that just came in. One of them is a Brazilian guy who worked with the Monero code and Ethereum code. And then they hired another guy that is very fluent in C++ that are going to be working on the blockchain. What this means is there's ASICs that are out right now, but there's very few and they're really hard to get to come by. And the ones that are going to be released coming in like June and July, they're going to have it work to where they're going to be ASIC resistant. By the time that those ASICs actually get shipped out to people, to where they're not even going to matter. So they're going to be ASIC resistant. There's, there's nothing to worry about. When it comes to the ASICs, they're already they're going to be getting the ASICs to test them on the network anyway. The Electronium team is, but whenever the ones that are coming out for the Kryptonite algorithm in June and July, 
by the time it hits, Monero is already going to fix their blockchain and they're going to be ASIC resistant, which probably means that they're going to fork. So you can keep mining your electronium with the GPUs and your CPUs right now. You're not going to have anything to worry about with the ASICs. They're just going to be paperweights. You can tell those ASIC people to F off. You know, don't even worry about it. The 51% attack that's been taking place. Now, I was getting my information through Mining Pool Hub and the Reddit link. But what it says here, there's no hard evidence that there is a 51% attack taking place. The evidence that is being used is not evidence of a 51% attack. It's a timestamp bug that is causing no problems at all. ASICs are nothing to worry about. We have ASIC resistance in the next update, which will be there before ASICs chips are widely available. Blockchain flooding. We are aware we are working on this from two ends. A blockchain update and our patent makes the blockchain flooding far less problematic. So that's good news, right? There's a timestamp bug in the Electronium blockchain that they've known about. They're going to be fixing it. They got the two new developers. They're going to be working on it. They're going to be changing the blockchain. And the patent is going to help the blockchain as well. So did you know that Electronium is ahead of Twitter, Facebook, Dropbox, and the speed of growth? So what that is, is in the first four months, Electronium has already reached a million users. It took Twitter like eight months, and it took uh like dropbox another like like almost a year to reach a million users now i could be wrong on the numbers but i know electronium reached one million users within four months so it's a way ahead of what twitter and like facebook and those other media outlets grew to which is a big deal because whenever you're a brand new company in the crypto space or any kind of space it's hard to get noticed but within like four months getting noticed that quick i mean that's just huge so Change in the market sentiment. There's an enormous amount of negative and often false information flying around the internet about Electronium. There has been a concerted effort by a number of very credible sounding people to try and damage the Electronium brand for their own reasons and for their own financial gain. A relatively small number of people have been spreading lies, fears, and doubts at any sign of positivity. There's also an automated trading strategy that has been kept in place, tiny sell orders just under the market price which along along with a negative narrative, has resulted in a loop of negativity that seems to feed itself. I'd like everyone in the Electronium project, I would like everyone to know that in the Electronium project is not in any danger and there is whilst, and whilst there are some legitimate questions such as when we will be implementing ASIC resistance cover below, there is nothing that is going to cause us long-term harm. So, I mean, that's... That's real comforting to hear from Richard Ells himself. You know, he wants people to not get caught up in the FUD that's going around about Electronium, which is good. Like, I believe in the project 100% based off of what their end goal is, like widespread adoption of cryptocurrency, being able to help people in third world countries that don't have the ability to have a financial system because they don't have banking institutions there that they can trust or like the, the hyperinflation that happens with the dollar, so it ends up being worth nothing. Like, that's a big deal. And being able to have, like, micro payments and being able to pay your cell phone bill with Electronium, I mean, that's a huge thing. So the two block de the blockchain developers are Chris Hansen and Andre Pata. So Andre Pata is the guy from Brazil. So he's got a huge amount of experience as a corporate software engineer working with companies such as Ericsson and has spent much of his time in recent years working on the interaction of decentralized technology within the financial sector. He has worked extensi extensively with the blockchain technologies of Ethereum and Monero. Chris Harrison is working in the UK office. He brings an ex exceptionally high level understanding of the mathematics behind cryptocurrency and develops in C++ along with, with others. So. Those two guys are going to be up to date, getting the blockchain fixed, becoming more ASIC resistance. So we're going to be good to go. Down below, here's some more stuff about the ASIC resistance that I mentioned earlier. There is much, there is a new ASIC out that enables owners of these machines to mine electronium at a much higher hash rate than GPU miners. However, there are currently only very limited numbers of them, and they are not available to purchase at the moment. They are not easy to buy and we're trying to get some for testing. The next batch are due out in June. We will have our ASIC resistance in place before they become a potential problem to us. So there you go. They're going to be ASIC resistant. 
But I was telling you before, you're not going to have to worry about it. Richard Ells does not want to have ASICs on his network. That is not what his mindset was to begin with. So us GPU and CPU miners are going to be the sole proprietors of keeping the network strong and alive. We already talked about the 51% attack, the blockchain flooding. We talked about that where people are making the little microtransactions causing the, the market price to continually drop. So somebody will put up uh, electronium for let's say like two or three cents and then once it sells at three cents then somebody will come in and they'll put one in for like 2.8 to get that instant sell. And then once it's at 2.8, they'll put a, a buy order in at 2.8 and then they'll put a sell order in at 2.7. So it's causing the blockchain to get flooded with massive amounts of transactions. But the new patent that's coming out is going to cover all that and it's going to make it that blockchain much more secured. And then the instant cryptocurrency payments and cryptocurrency subscription patent. The patent's out and it's pending. And it says we are completely confident we will be the largest cryptocurrency used by user number within a year. We're confident that we will be the most widely used cryptocurrency with developments in instant POS electronic point of sale or TILs as we call them in England and e-commerce. Our instant cryptocurrency payment technology patent is now officially patent pending, so we can now discuss some exciting details about it. This is what he's been talking about for weeks, the really big deals and news that they were going to be talking about. And we talked about it briefly before, but it's going to instantly confirm for a vendor whether or not you have the cryptocurrency in your wallet, and then it is going to put a circle around it. It's going to keep it secure so you can't double spend. And then it will send it to the vendor with a success or failure message. And this is what cryptocurrency needs. It needs a way to be able to buy stuff with cryptocurrency. That's how it gets widely used. But, you know, I'll see if I can get this message copied and then I'll put it in the description below so you can read it. But if you guys are a part of Electronium, then you should have gotten this email. So check your emails. You should have it from Richard Elves. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today. I've got other things i got to do. i got to work later. It's my birthday. It sucks. But anyways, that's going to be it, guys. Be sure to go check out Sean Davis with Crypto for the People. I'll put a link to his YouTube in the description down below. Keep up the belief in Electronium. I'm going to stay hard believing in Electronium. And until next time, guys, peace.